this morning. I'm in the Jefferson National Forest and I'm going to climb up to something called the Devil's Marble Yard. The Devil's Marble Yard is a giant field of boulders in the side of the mountain. The plan today is to take the Belfast Trail up to the Mar Marble Yard, explore a little bit, and then keep going up till I can connect to the Gunter Ridge Trail, where I'll take a left, and then I'll take that all the way back down to the, the trailhead in a big counterclockwise loop. Today should be about eight miles with a little bit over a thousand feet of elevation gain. What makes this such a cool hike is how unique uh, the Devil's Marble Yard is. I don't think that there's anywhere else in Virginia where you get a giant boulder field that you can scramble on like this. Um, and then visually it just looks so unique because it's right in the side of the mountains. It's surrounded by trees. It's not on, from what I could tell, it's not on the top of the mountain. You know, it's not on a ridge line. It's just halfway up the mountain on the side. There's all these exposed huge boulders, some of them apparently the size of um, like school buses, but it should be a great day. Weather right now is perfect. I think it's in the 60s. Should be partly cloudy, no chance of rain, no wind. So looking forward to a great day. So just under two miles, we've reached the bottom of the Devil's Marble Yard. To get to the Marble Yard, you follow this trail a little bit further up and then you cut over climbers left. It looks like you could climb up here, but I'm gonna keep going on the trail over here just to see what it looks like. And see if I can scoot over to the left and get on the get on the boulders and start start exploring a little bit. Alright, so we we climbed up this uh, slab right here. Once you get to the top of the slab, then there's a couple little spots where you can get over into the, uh, the marble yard. So I think what I'm going to do now is cut over to the left and just kind of walk around out there, see what I can find. Take some pictures, hang out. Should be pretty cool. Man, this place is pretty cool. So, a lot of people think that this place was formed by glaciers. And while like most like boulder formations like this, out west in the Rockies, all those places, they're formed when the giant glaciers move around all the boulders and the rocks. But uh, in this case, about 500 million years ago, these rocks were formed underneath the Earth's surface in this mountain range. And due to erosion, they were un uncovered where all of the dirt was washed away and all that was left was a giant quartz slab. Then over time, water seeped in the cracks of the rock, froze, and broke it apart. And over a long period of time,
pretty cool. I don't know of any other place in Virginia that has this. Yeah, very unique, very cool. I can't believe I'm all alone up here. It's nuts. This is so cool. Yeah, I still got a ton more you can do. It's really fun. High class too. I mean, you could make different routes. There's endless possibilities. That's pretty steep right there. You could probably do some really good bouldering up there. But yeah, I, I was thinking if you're headed up to the White Mountains or maybe something in the Wind Rivers or something like that where you, you might experience like all these boulders and you want to test out a pair of boots or a pair of shoes, gear, without having to hike and do like a long approach or something. Um, this this is perfect. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could just go like 50 feet over here and get back on the trail. So, I mean, yeah, like I said, perfect place to test out gear, practice bouldering, getting comfortable with recognizing routes. It's just a cool place to hang out. That view is absolutely ridiculous. But this is cool. Probably gonna go a little bit further up. I don't think I'm gonna go all the way, but I might go up and get back on the trail and see what's up there. I mean, a lot of cool routes. Like, I could have done probably three or four different things right there. But, all right, cool, let's keep going. Anytime you want to get off of the, the marble yard, just cut right, crawl, crawl through some maybe some trees or something like that, but right back onto the trail. Perfect. This place is great. All right, cool. I'm going to keep going. I think I'm going to head up to the top here and connect over to that ridge trail. Maybe do a little trail run, get back to the truck. Awesome. this I was not expecting this but actually it looks like you can go around so although I bet you could scramble up this it's just slab but I'm gonna see if I can go around it <laughs> okay update I looked at the map and it turns out that the marble yard is an out and back. 
Uh, I think when I was looking at online, it looked like you just climb up and connect to the ridge trail, but uh, it's an out and back, so then you can take the trail that I'm on back down, and there should be a junction which then takes you, um, I think it's east, further to my right, around the edge of the mountain to the ridge. So, oh well, got to backtrack a little bit and we'll get down to the junction and then head back up. So. This looks like a trail. Ugh. All right, reached the junction for the Gunter Ridge Trail. I'm gonna turn left and make one giant five mile counterclockwise loop back to the truck. Just hit six miles. I'm gonna head down the last couple of miles to the truck. Just have about 15 little switchbacks down the back of the ridge here. I'm having to really watch my foot. I think I've rolled my my ankles more than a dozen times. So just taking it nice and slow. We'll eventually get back to the truck. This really is an awesome trail. Mostly runnable, nobody out here. And besides this little patch right there, mostly in the shade, which is perfect for the summertime. I mean, it's middle of the day, barely breaking a sweat. So. Just leaving the James River Face James River Face Wilderness. Six point four five miles. All right, after a while, the trail turns into a forest road or a fire road. It's kind of like an old logging trail. And I think, I think we just keep following, following this for a couple hundred more yards and then we'll turn left. But it's marked with these Orange diamond. All right, I reached a T 
intersection in the trail and we're going to take a left and that should bring us the last half mile to this rock. All right, that wraps up Devil's Marble Yard. Overall, awesome day, nice little hike. Highly recommend if you're interested in coming out and doing some scrambling. Doesn't get much better than this. And like I said earlier, it's a great practice spot if you're going to the White Mountains or uh, somewhere out west. All right, I'm gonna head on home, get some lunch. Mm -hmm.